Greetings, family. I hope you guys all had a great Veterans Day weekend. And welcome to today's session of Daily Bread. Today's Daily Bread is titled, Songs of Hope. I'm going to read to you from Acts chapter 16, verses 23 and 25. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. In Acts chapter 16, verses 16 through 40, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, and Silas, a fellow missionary with Paul, were thrown into prison after Paul had cast a spirit out of a female slave girl who was a fortune teller. Since her fortune telling made profit for her master, her master had Paul and Silas thrown into prison. And although Paul and Silas were imprisoned for doing work in the Lord's name, they praised and sang songs to God because they knew of the hope that they have in Jesus Christ. Now, let's see what today's writer has to say. Upon reading of Paul and Silas's pain, darkness, and despair in prison, one cannot help but either be amazed or skeptical at their response, praying and singing hymns. And this was not a brief moment. They may have been singing for hours. The Greek verb used for the prisoners listening is an imperfect verb, meaning they listened for an extended period. They responded not with a fleeting emotion tied to circumstances, but rather with a steadfast hope rooted in their Savior. Christian When you are in the midst of suffering, do you begin praying and singing hymns to God? Or do you run to any number of short-lived comforts the world tries to offer? Remember this, even when your hope seems weak, the object of your hope is infinitely strong. For a time you may lament, but your sorrow does not end in despair. Let your heart be lifted up by songs that sing of your rescuer. Our rescuer, Jesus Christ. We were promised a rescuer. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 tells us that in his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I pray that the Lord has touched your heart through this message and as he continues to reveal himself to you as you travel down the path that he has prepared for you, may he bless you, keep you, shine his face upon you, and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen.